Hello everyone, welcome to Cooking with Countryside. My name is Melissa and today we're going to be making a sweet radish spread. So what you'll need from the market, you'll need radishes and you can choose any variety. Today I'm going to be using the daikon radish, daikon, daikon, not sure how you pronounce it but it's really yummy. Honey, micro greens or greens of choice. These are kind of going to be used as a garnish so if you don't have these you could substitute it for something else or you could eat them without and then bread of your choice so there's lots of fresh breads to choose from at the market so you can choose whichever one makes your taste buds sing and then things you'll need from home are cream cheese and i'm just using a little eight ounce package oil salt and I think that's it. So the first step is we're going to be cooking our radishes. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the ends and then I'm gonna peel it because as you can see, there's kind of all these little things growing off the side of it. And this is gonna just give it a little bit cleaner and make it smooth because after we cook it, we're going to mix it with the cream cheese and smooth it all out. And so if you make it with different radishes, because radishes are different colors, when you cook it, your dip might turn, your dip or spread might turn out to be a different color. So that would be kind of a fun experiment to see how the taste differs and the color differs. So with the amount of radishes, I would say three to five radishes, depending on the size. So these, um, I just happen to have five radishes, so I'm gonna use five. The more radishes you use, obviously the stronger the taste it'll be. So if you've ever had like the garden vegetable or the garden herb cream cheese, we're kind of replicating something like that, but with a radish flavor. And so I know a lot of the times I associate radishes with salads and kind of chopping them up and eating them raw. So cooking them is a whole new ball game for me. And if you have extra radishes, I definitely recommend roasting them or putting them in the air fryer if you have one of those. Pretty yummy now that it's getting cold and you might start wanting hot foods more. And the nice thing about radishes is they actually last quite a while in your fridge. I bought these radishes I think two weeks ago and they still look as good as they did the day I bought them. I just stored them in the plastic bag that they came in in my fridge in the vegetable drawer and they survived very nicely so that's a nice bonus with this recipe is if you have leftover radishes you need something to make so the next step is to chop these radishes into smaller pieces to cook the smaller you chop them the faster it will cook you could either do it by hand chopping them into I'd say like pieces maybe about <laughs> I don't know the best angle this size but I'm just gonna throw them in a food processor and then that way they will cook even faster so the goal is to almost caramelize these we're gonna get them soft we're gonna add some oil and then at the end we're gonna add honey to make it even sweeter because I don't know about you but I don't generally associate radishes with a sweet taste so this will be a nice change okay so now these are, <laughs> last time I put something to the camera, I spilled it all over. This is the, about the size that they are, so small, small. And I'm just gonna actually start heating my pan, so I have a pan behind me. And I'm gonna put probably two tablespoons of olive oil in there. I don't measure, but if you do, probably about two tablespoons, but it'll just be enough to coat the radishes and to coat the bottom of your pan as well. Okay, so now that all my radishes are chopped up, I'm gonna add them to the pan and I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt on top. And the pan is on high heat. We want to start it cooking real fast and then we'll turn it down to low, probably about three to five minutes into the cooking process. So 
I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And then I'm going to mix it all up so that the radishes are coated in the olive oil. Okay, so the radishes cooked for about five minutes on high heat with just the salt and the olive oil. And then after that, I drizzled honey over the top, probably about two tablespoons. Um, I didn't really measure because that would kind of be a pain to clean the spoon after measuring honey. But I just drizzled it back and forth over the entire pan. And then I mixed that up, turned the heat down to medium, and let it cook for about three more minutes. And during that process, you want to stir it occasionally. And while that was happening, I emptied my cream cheese into a bowl and I put it in the microwave to soften it. I put it in the microwave for about one minute. The next step is we are gonna kind of want to like puree the radishes almost. So I'm gonna use my food processor again. You could always just leave them in those really little pieces and mix them in the cream cheese like that if you wanted a chunkier spread. But today I'm gonna go for a smoother spread. So you could use a food processor or a blender. If you're using a blender, you could probably just throw the cream cheese in with it. Since my food processor is so small, I'm gonna do the radishes in here, see how thin I can get them, and then add them to the cream cheese. This is what the radishes look like now. They're a nice deep brown color. Try to get every little last bit in here. Okay. Well, that didn't really puree in as much as I thought it would, but it is a little bit thinner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to the cream cheese. I'm just gonna mix it up. If you had a potato masher, you could, and you had bigger pieces, you could just crush that down too. But a spoon works just fine. So now my mix is looking like that. Now I would recommend putting this in the fridge and letting it cool before you spread it, but you could eat it hot also. I went ahead and toasted my bread. So I'm just going to spread it onto the bread. And you could do this on a bagel, you could do it on a croissant, or any good yummy starch. <laughs> okay, so now that we have that, the final step is we're just gonna garnish it with microgreens. So I'm using a mild variety today. And this is gonna add a little bit of flavor, but it's also gonna make it look really pretty. And voila, there's your sweet radish spread. If you're interested in learning how you can get these ingredients from your local Ohio farmers, visit countrysidefoodandfarms.org. Thank you for watching.